Some fresh concern in Toronto this afternoon about Ottawa's plan to reform the country's refugee system. Citizenship and Immigration says the changes will speed up the approvals process. But as CBC Toronto's Nicole Ireland reports, advocates worry that reform will come at a price. If I go, go back to China, I think my whole life is ruined, really. No hope. 30-year-old Yan has been in Toronto since June, and she won't find out if she can stay until her refugee hearing next June. She's one of more than 30,000 people in Ontario whose cases are pending. Citizenship and Immigration Canada says it wants to reform the system. Mario Bellissimo is an immigration and refugee lawyer in Toronto. He's worried that the cost of speeding up the system might be to cut down the number of people who can access it. We do have a history at times where we did refuse protection to some people and we have some things in our history that we don't want to repeat and we have to be very careful because a lot of things are happening all over the world. So my concern with any reform is does it get to the point where you will shut the door on someone that really needs protection or will you make it so cumbersome that for them to be able to access that protection doesn't become realistic. Immigration officials say too much time and resources go into reviewing claims by people who are not genuine refugees. But advocates say the rate of invalid claims is relatively low. And they're concerned that people who truly need help will be turned away. Nicole Ireland, CBC News, Toronto.